is chi-square test and in chi-square test the first part is test of independence which is popularly known as the problems with contingency table. The first case is a large electronic firm which hires many handicapped workers want to determine whether their handicapped affect such workers performance on the basis of a sample data given below. Is it reasonable to believe that the handicapped have no effect on workers performance and the information is given in a tabular form. Now to test this hypothesis first we have to do something with this data. First find out the total of both the rows and columns. So we have to prepare one additional column and one additional row in the form of total. The total of the first column is 60, the total of second column is 210 and the total of the third column is also 60. So the grand total comes to 330. It is 148 for the second row and it is 150 plus 32 that means 182 for the first row so 330 vertically and horizontally. Now divide all the four, six cells into two parts. These are called frequencies. In case of probability we know these numbers as favorable number of cases. These are known as favorable number of cases of joint, uh, joint events and these are of marginal events. But here these are known as, these six particularly are known as observed frequencies or actual frequencies. And chi-square test is based on the comparison of actual and expected frequencies. First we require to find out the expected frequencies for each and every observed or actual frequency. The process is very easy. A simple arithmetic process is to be done to find out the expected frequency of all these observed frequencies. Let us find the expected frequency of 37 first. What we have to do is column total into row total divided by the grand total 182 yes what is the formula column total into row total or vice versa divided by grand total yes can anybody give me the answer 33.09 33.09 okay number 2 that is equivalent to 33 actually because frequency are generally considered as integer numbers only and observed frequencies or actual frequencies are always by nature integer values now expected frequency of 37 is say 33 now we are going to find the expected frequency of 113 again the same logic column total 210 multiplied by the row total 182 again divided by the grand total 115.81 115.81 that is equivalent to 116 116 now we know that the observed frequencies that means it is reality we cannot change the reality that means we cannot change the totals totals remain same that means now all other four expected frequencies can be calculated as difference of the two values only 60 minus 33 27 210 minus 116 that means 90 4 60 sorry 182 minus 33 plus 116 what is it 182 minus 116 that means it is 66 66 minus 33 that means it is 33 yes now 60 minus 33 means 27 or you can now verify that 148 minus 27 it is 121 
minus 94, it is 27. That means all expected frequencies are correct. So now we have actually set pairs of frequencies for each cell. Observed frequency and expected frequency. At the time of calculation of chi square test, we have to maintain this pair. We should not break the pair at the time of calculation of chi square. Okay. Any question for this table? Got it? Yes. Now the next part is nothing. It is again typical. Okay. Test of hypothesis. This is called non-parametric test because we are not going to use any parameter like mean or standard deviation or variance or anything. So this is non-parametric test. First of all, the null hypothesis. See the last wordings of the question. Is it reasonable to believe that the handicap have no effect on worker's performance? That means wordings for null hypothesis are readily available from the question. Null hypothesis. The handicapped have no effect. No effect. On performance. Alternative hypothesis. Since we are not going to use any parameter, only verbal hypothesis is are there. The handicap effect. The performance. Now what? The next part is calculation of test statistic. That is chi square. First time in this chapter we are not going to use directly any formula. We are going to use a formula, but the calculations will be in the form of a table. Observed frequency, second is E that is expected frequency, third column is O minus E, fourth column is O minus E whole square, and the last fifth column is O minus E whole square divided by E. The summation of these last column is chi square, that means chi square is sigma O minus E whole square divided by E. The summation of that column. O 37, 113, 32, 23, 97 and 28. Actually it is advisable to write both the columns simultaneously. So that the pair of observed and relevant expected frequency is not broken. Now, can anybody tell me the expect relevant expected frequencies? This is 33. This is 116. 33. This is again 33. Is it? Wait, no. Yes. Okay. Again 27. 94. 94 and last is 27. Now, first we have to observe that. Is any of the expected frequency less than 5? No. If no, then there is no problem. But if any of the expected frequency is less than 5, we should cancel the frequency and merge it with the other greater frequency, which is greater than 5. And the similar process should be done with the observed frequencies. But in this particular case, we are not going to discuss this further. Now, O minus E, 37 minus 33, 4. 113 minus 116, minus 3. 32 minus 33, minus 1. 23 minus 27, minus 4. 97 minus 94, 3. And 28 minus 27, 1. Okay. 
Now O minus E whole square. That means 16, 4 square, 3 square 9, 1 square 1, 4 square 16, 3 square 9 and 1 square 1. Now O minus E whole square divided by E. That means 16 divided by 33. 0 by 48. Please tell three decimals. 4, 7. 16 divided by 33. Zero we are going 4, 8, 4, 8, 4, 8, 4. 8, 4. We are going to take three decimal places every time. 9 divided by 116. 0 0. 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 divided by 33. <laughs> Very small. 0, 0, 3, 0. 0, 3, 0. Okay. 16 divided by 27. <coughs> 5, 9, 2. 5, 9? 2. Okay. 9 divided by 94. Point nine five three. Point? Zero nine. Zero point nine five three. Nine six is Okay. Yeah. 1 by 27. 1 divided by 27. Last. 0.037 Now the grand total and that is nothing but chi-square chi-square Sky square test of independence. Yes, okay. 